So just wanted to say good morning to our family and friends. We, uh, we don't have social media, so occasionally I just put something on YouTube. But uh, here it is. Anyway, uh, update from, I guess, our family. Uh, what's been going on here? Well, we are midsummer and it is very green here in Florida. So our, uh, we are still loving our home. I'm gonna give you just another little tour. And uh, while we tour around the, uh, the yard, I'll kind of talk a little bit. So here we go. Anyway, um, yeah, this is, Again, the yard, I've had a couple of trees die. This was like a really beautiful avocado tree and it, yeah, died. Or, no, it didn't die, it's just kind of reviving. My lemon tree did die, that made me sad. But I've been planting other citruses. I really do love planting things and growing things. It's one thing I've really discovered, especially out here. It's a little easier with the, uh, the rain helps me, but I've got our garden with random stuffs in it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna, yeah, the girls, update on my girls, they, um, just finished aerial silks, and, uh, Mimi still ice skates, but they are, uh, focusing on horse riding now, so they're kind of getting into that, um, they love their doggies, their dogs are, uh, Dixie and Oreo, they're probably somewhere back in there, oh, there they are. <laughs> Yes, there's there's my dog Bolt. Hi guys, good morning. Oh yeah, they're very loved. It's funny this uh, this path here was underneath the grass. I just poked the ground one time, found a rock, and then kept poking and found all the other other uh, rocks there. So this is the backyard. I've been uh, carving and sculpting back here, especially since the storm, and they, uh, you know stuff being taken away by the uh, the hurricane relief people but uh, anyway so I just put stuff out on the road but I love walking back through here There's some different trails that I've been able to carve that ultimately take you out to some of the stream areas where uh, we have seen plenty of oh, the, the stream goes underneath this big tree which is amazing um, so in the stream there, we have found turtles and uh, otters. Yesterday I was sitting at the uh, the edge of the water and I was reading my Bible and I looked over the edge of the uh, my Bible and there was an otter right on the other side, maybe four feet away looking at me. It's a banana tree that I planted. We could walk that way or this way back up to the yard, but I'm gonna walk this way. Uh, lots of poison. Well, there was lots of poison ivy out here that I had to get rid of. Um, but, yep, working on that. Um, let's see. Mela and I like camping out here sometimes. There's one of the hammocks there. Um, sometimes when I transplant trees or whatever else, I pull it out of the ground and stick the roots in here in the water until I figure out where I want to put it um we're gonna go this way let's see um i yeah, planted lots of little things along the ground here's where i typically see the otters we've also had some really big fish that have come through here recently uh the water level's been high enough for the fish to travel from bear gully lake on this way uh this is where i saw the otter yesterday um yeah, it, the property well, continues that way. I'll, I'll keep walking that way. Well, maybe we'll uh, stumble upon our chickens too. We have uh, chickens that like to uh, free range, but I made a big mistake. I was free ranging the chickens before we went to uh, to church recently, and um, Mela and Mimi actually like fishing out here. But it's a banana. Uh, so I was free ranging the chickens and I forgot to put them away and Mimi's dog Dixie broke through the lanai that's the enclosure that keeps them in and they um, she got out and she tore up the chickens which was so bad well she caught she caught four of them and uh, but two of them were severely severely tore up like guts and muscles hanging out and I just felt so guilty because Mela did ask me to uh, 
That's again the property there. But Mela asked me to uh, put them away, and I didn't before we left. And then of course they, uh, the the two that were severely tore up, they um, that I mean they needed like significant stitches, and it was going to be about $150 just for the vet to look at them. And I'm not going to have the vet look at a chicken for $150 each. So um, my friend YouTube and uh, prayer, just asking God for wisdom on how to take care of them went uh, a long way. Here's our chicken coop. Uh, I made a lot of this one. And then, um, anyway, we've connected a couple of coops together. There's one of our girls right there. That's, uh, that's Sparks. We have a couple girls in the bushes here. And um, yeah, we just found out that this one right here, Rockstar is a boy yesterday. Uh, he was crowing outside here and uh so that's a little bit of a problem because my neighbor asked me no uh no roosters please he didn't want to be woken up in the morning um anyway here's midnight she's all of our favorite she um yeah she is super sweet and there's shadow hi anyway we'll keep going around again that's a swing that mela made or no not the uh, the ladder she made that ladder i just drilled a couple holes and helped cut some but she did a lot of the work but anyway that's uh the tour of the house again and a little update on us so we'll talk to you soon